Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about Stokes theorem. So now I will show you the technique. We know that this one that's e equals to the line integral and that's about f multiplied with dr with the dot product and we have c in here so the first one we need to find vector r so we have z and z so we got about 13 minus s square minus y square equals to negative number 3 so we put negative number 3 on the left this one on the right and we got about the circle so in this situation we can put about s equal to 4 cosine t y equal to 4 side t so we have vector rt that should be about 4 cos t 4 sin t and z let's see about this one So the next one, we need to find first the derivative of RT. So we got about negative 4 psi T. 4 cos T. And number 0 in here. The next one, we need to find vector F. So we know this is about s, y, and z. Negative y and z, that's about negative number 3 multiplied with 4 side t. And we have negative, so you got about positive. s and z, that's about negative 12 cos side t. s, y, that's about 16 side t cos t and now we have the integration so we have negative number 4 multiplied with number 3 because we do about the dot product between this one and this one So, we have this one multiplied with this one, this one multiplied with this one, and this one multiplied with this one. So, we got about the integral from 0 to 2p, and you got about negative 48 psi t square, cos t square, dt. And this one, we got about number 1. And we got about negative 96b. 
this is the end. Thank you for watching.